are. Back at it again, Si. What time are you on the platform? 15. Today, we're joined by ESS 6007. Hey, John, what's going on? Gonna go. Four million people going for the train. I know that's huge. But it's better than so. I've just had a tough old time getting through the ticket bag. I'm going to have to eat McDonald's on the train. I can find it in the main area. I'm pretty sure it's going to be down here. Hello and welcome to part 2 of the Spa Valley Railway trip for Rail Riders Series 3. Today we're going to be primarily riding on the Class 73 locomotive, 73140. Here at Tunbridge Wells we see one of the railway's resident shunting locomotives moving out of Tunbridge Wells Yard. Well, actually, that shunter was supposed to do driver experience at some point on the um, on the Saturday. Mm -hmm. You were. So I don't know whether that's something to do with it. Well, because they did driver experience on the Saturday on that shunter that's just gone out. But yeah. yeah but driving experience. Sam, are you involved? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> now we're going to take a ride on the 73 down to Erich. The British Rail Class 73 is a British electro diesel locomotive. The type is unusual in that it can operate from the southern region's 650 750 volt DC third rail or an onboard diesel engine to allow it to operate on non electrified routes. This makes it very versatile, although the diesel engine produces less power than is available from the third rail supply, so the locomotives are rarely operated outside of the former southern region of British Rail. Following the withdrawal and scrapping of the more powerful Class 74 electro diesels in 1977, the Class 73 was unique on the British Railway network until the introduction of the Class 88s, which were produced in 2017. Ten locomotives have been scrapped. we had a slight climate change with the weather has seen it started to rain quite a bit anyway now we're all together and aboard the locomotive it is now full speed ahead to Erich all aboard
73 out of Grimbridge. We passed 33063 RJ Mitchell and Saddle Tank Ugly as we head down towards Erich. He's quite a good shirt. That's the I Like Trains man, isn't it? Yeah. Who's that I Like Trains man? Where's that from? That's the ASTF movie, isn't it? At this crossing before Erich Station, the locomotives have to stop to gain permission to proceed onto the mainline network down to Erich. From this section of track, the line is double track, one side being the Southern Railway Network and obviously the side that we're on being the Spa Valley Railway. We watched the Class 31, 31430 from the Man Gaps Farm Railway depart with a train bound for Tunbridge Wells West. The 73 on the rear of the train is dropped off at Erich here to await the next scheduled service out of the station. While waiting for the next train to arrive, the Class 73 does short driver experiences for enthusiasts, moving in and out of the station light engine. Now the question you're probably asking is, did we actually get driver experience on any of these locomotives and driver experiences on the day? Sadly not, as all the bookings were full when we took a look at the website to book a ticket. Erich Station is on the Uckfield branch of the Oxted Line in southern England and serves a rural district around Erich in East Sussex. It is 35 miles 53 chains from London Bridge. The station is managed by Southern. There are currently major improvements works of replacing the wooden staircase with modern ones and improving access for the disabled. Train services from the station are provided by Southern, also heritage services connecting to Grimbridge, High Rocks and Tunbridge Wells West are run by the Spa Valley Railway. There are good opportunities for walks from the station into the High World. The station has a small car park and there is a pub next to the station called The Huntsman.
one? Oh, hey, hold. <laughs> John. Go on, John. You should have some help there, mate. That doesn't sound good, either. Fuck this, Mama. As class 73, 73 140 heads into the bay platform at Erich in its brightly painted milk southeast livery, it halts here for a moment to wait for the down train from Tunbridge Wells West to head into the station. After this, the 73 will connect to the other end. The driver kindly lets me, John, Simon and Elaine head into the cab while he does this. down train arrives in the form of class 33 Crompton 33063 RJ Mitchell. Loco comes to a halt before connecting to the stock. We have to head to the other cab end. We can do this by either climbing out the cab, getting down from the locomotive and going into the other cab, or go through via the engine room, which is what we did.
lucky lads, John and Elaine, managed to get a cab ride all the way from Eridge down to Tunbridge Wells West. However, sadly, me and Simon did not get this, due to having to catch our train down to London. So we had to stay at Eridge and wait for that while they headed off in the 73. London 33. That's an NAC. 73 you never get. So John, what's going on? <laughs> We're going to go for a cab ride on the 73. What's 73? NAC 73. Mm. Yeah, and this is where we leave you, isn't it? It is, unfortunately. Yeah. Bye. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> Come on, we've got to get on. A while later, after the 73 left Erich, 33063 heads into the bay platform. This is so it can take the next train out when it comes back in. Skipping back to John and Elaine in the 73, you'll hear Elaine interviewing some of the staff members of the railway. So what are the plans for the railway for the last well, we've got the signalling project to finish off. Well, we can pass two trains. It's not sort of done in four it's actually in phases. So I think it's phase four that's going to be completed by August. Yeah. We'll see when you come to work some drills. Yeah, yeah when you get up there, just before the station on the right hand side. Fencing up it has to be made into some more sizes. Yeah. Because at the moment we have to drag all the stock up into the station, so it doesn't yeah. get randomised. It's just not secure at the moment. What's the shape? Because you have quite a few vandalised. It's a lot of dandy. 
The lads now approach Grimbridge, where they'll find 31430 Sister Dora. The loco will pass them before they can depart into Grimbridge platform. Valley Railway runs from Tunbridge Wells to Eridge, where it links to the Oxted line. En route, it crosses the Kent and East Sussex border, a distance of five miles along the former Weldon line between Tunbridge Wells Central and Lewes. The railway headquarters is at Tunbridge Wells West Railway Station. The railway was engineered by the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway's chief engineer, Frederick Bannister, as part of the East Grinstead, Grimbridge and Tunbridge Wells Railway. Itself an extension to the free bridges to East Grinstead Railway, which had been completed in 1855. The London, Brighton and South Coast Railway opened Tunbridge Wells West in 1866 as the eastern terminus of the EGGDWR. There was also an extension to Tunbridge Wells Central from Tunbridge Wells West. There were direct services to the South Coast of Brighton and Eastbourne and to London, Victoria. The Victoria services ran via Groombridge and Ashurst as a sign outside of the station proudly proclaimed new route to London, shortest, quickest and most direct frequent express trains. Railway has its origins in a charitable society formed on the 13th of September 1985 to purchase and reopen Tunbridge Wells West to Erich Line, named the Tunbridge Wells and Erich Railway Preservation Society. 
It began a long struggle to reopen the line. The campaign received a setback in the late 1980s when Tunbridge Wells Borough Council gave planning permission for the construction of a large Sainsbury supermarket complex on the site of the derelict goods yard of Tunbridge Well West. While the 1891 locomotive shed and station building were being protected as listed buildings, the remaining area of the site was obliterated, including the goods shed and signal boxes. However, planning permission was subject to the condition that the developer pay for construction of a new station platform and restoration of the engine shed. In 1996, the North Downs Steam Railway relocated from Dartford, where it was experiencing vandalism problems, and merged with the Tunbridge Wells and Eric's Railway Preservation Society. It transferred its assets and helped establish a base in the former LB and SCR locomotive shed. Also in 1996, the group acquired the line as far as Birchton Junction. Alongside the loco shed, a new platform was built, from where services began running to the Cold Bath Bridge, about 0.8 miles away, in December 1996. Services were extended to Groombridge in August 1997, and to Birchton Junction in 2005. Now joining me and Simon back at Erich again, yes, still waiting for our train, we see the Class 31 heading into the station. to the lads on the 73 now, we get to hear the fantastic turbo sound of the 73 at full throttle heading up the bank from High Rocks down to Tunbridge Wells. Now back at Airage with me and Simon, we see 33063 preparing to depart the bay platform to connect to the SIG stock in the platform.
Before the 33 backed onto its train, our train arrived. And sadly, we didn't get to capture this. However, here is a nice shot of old versus new, as a class 171 heads into the station. Like on our way up at East Croydon, we have to switch trains to an electric loco to get us down to Victoria at Oxted. 377 Electro Star again, Simon. Si. And on we go for Victoria. John and Elaine are now on their final legs down to Tunbridge Wells Station as we see them on the approach. So you got all these signals and all that parts, right? You got all your signals ready, just they need to Yeah, down at Great Bridge. There's no plans to do any, put any signals in up here at the moment. Just all these stuff and stuff on this signal here. The Spa Valley Railway provides a way of getting to other local tourist attractions such as Grimbridge Place, High Rocks and the Pantiles in Tunbridge Wells. The railway holds a number of special event days throughout the year including transport film festivals, Santa specials, a summer diesel gala and also Real Ale and Cider Festival which is combined with the railway's autumn diesel gala which we are at currently and held each October. The railway operates from February to October as well as Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays in the summer months. In December the railway operates Santa special services up until Christmas and then runs selected days between Christmas and including New Year's Day. During November and January the line is usually closed to the public. This allows the railway's infrastructure department time to carry out major track renewals such as installation of new point work, something that Groombridge and Tunbridge Wells West have both benefited from in recent times. The future of the Spa Valley Railway is not necessarily set. Whilst the Spa Valley Railway certainly has no current plans to extend its operational railway line, it has stated an aim to continually develop its railway services and facilities. Its business plan states that the Spa Valley Railway will seek to protect the alignment of the closed railway lines around Erich that may at some future time provide the basis for an extension of the railway. Now time to say goodbye to the Spa Valley Railway as we head back to me and Simon on our journey back down to Cambridge. It was certainly a bit of a rush as we had to rush around London between trains and well I ended up eating a McDonald's on a tube train. Back to Victoria, Victoria again, the second time in the day. Can't get enough of it can we? <laughs> Forty million, forty million people going for the train, and there actually is. And it's a Sunday night. Oh my God! Well, that's it then. <laughs> we almost got lost in the crowd. Hey, what is all all about? It's basically, size making me eat a McDonald's on the tube train. Mmm. This is probably going to be the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Mm. <laughs> Eating a McDonald's on a tube. 
Put his bare hands, Sam. No. <laughs> I've just had a tough old time getting through the ticket barrier. I heard that the ticket machine uh, ate your ticket. Yeah, it's all creased up. Now, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to eat McDonald's on the tube. It's oh, ridiculous. Yeah. The Metropolitan Line is part suspended between Wembley Park and Aldgate due to planned engineering work. That was certainly one of the more eventful dinners of my life. I'm still eating mine. Mmm! Because <laughs> that's, nine, that's nine to ten over in that area, so it'll probably be in the main uh, canopy bit of King's Cross, isn't it? Get, um, hmm? Look, the Harry Potter nine and three quarters. How many people are queuing to get their photo done? What, is that the actual sign over there? Yeah. Where's that then? That's called nine and three quarters, that Harry Potter. Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that. Platform 5? Platform 5 will be in the main area, I'm pretty sure, yeah, so it'll be down here. Down here. Mm. Down here. <laughs> down here. Where? Down here. Oh, in the... <laughs> I just like to say, I can't believe it's Sunday night and how many people are back. Well, it's because the game's on, isn't it? It's like Arsenal versus Manchester, isn't it? Yeah. That's probably what it is. I like, I like the sound of the now this is the old bit, this is the original part of King's Cross, isn't it? This is, this is where all the HSTs and 91s and LNR trains are, isn't it? As we can see. It was nice to stop at the King's Cross station and see the many units in the station, but probably one of the most interesting things to see was the MTU HST Class 43 trains, which at the time were soon going out of service on the East Coast Main Line. The British Rail Class 43s is a tops classification used for the Intercity 125 high speed train, formerly classes 253 and 254 power cars. Built by British Rail Engineering Limited from 1975 to 1982 and in service in the UK since 1976. The class is officially the fastest diesel locomotive in the world, with an absolute maximum speed of 148 miles per hour and a regular service speed of 125 miles per hour. The record run was led by 43102 and trailed by 43159. Made it back to Cambridge, Si. Yeah, just got here. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's not raining, so that's a result. Mm, another adventure done. Another and dusted. Another, another cab ride. Yeah. Three O T, so I always feel like. Oh, for too bad actually, possibly in the open, it's quite comfortable.